yo guys, how are you all getting on? It's Shango here once again with another video for you. Um, I'm going to make this one because it was requested by a lot of people um, mailing me on YouTube to make a guide of how do I keep on my razor nagging. So, I'm going to keep it nice and simple for you. And this is easy for the brain as well, so when you're in the arena. So, yeah. So, let's get into it anyway. So, as you can see here, um, I have my healing 1 to 4. So, it's where your thumb is mostly going to be. So, it's like, this is the best way to have it, is your main healing spells all next to each other. So, you don't have to move your thumb, like, go from 1 to 7, or anything like that. It's just, it's just nice and simple, and quick to hit. As well is, just when you go over, you'll see mine, like, say, 1 to 5. Um, I have stun as 5, so when you look over, you have shift 1 to 5. Now, it's very important with spells that you will use, that you don't like have shift one over here or shift two over here over where nine is you want to keep it nice and easy for your mind that you, you know that your spells shift one two three four five are over where one two three four five are this is how i got used to realizing like it's keeping them simple together that's the main main goal now to be like for me turn evil for when you're in trees or now you're against pets you will be using this a lot, so having a shift two, I've shift three for freedom myself, shift four for beating the light, which you'll be switching in the arena if you use the glyph a lot, and you'll be using it anyway, and shift five for rebuke because you'll be kicking the healers and whatever you focus target, so that's what I have mine says. Now, when we go down to here, it's a uh, mouse wheel down, I have to, to cleanse, and I normally have my uh, cleanse me as mouse wheel up. Nice and simple, I know my cleanses are mouse wheel down, mouse wheel up simple as i used to have them binded um to dispel all my teammates but now because they said cool down i'm very fast at targeting which i'll get into there in a minute so i just have it as cleanse and then i'll just cleanse me so i don't target myself but i'm very fast at cleansing so i just have a cleanse so it's mostly down mostly love for cleanse now if, uh, my water glory is t my sacred shield is shifty my wings is f and middle mouse wheel down and G. It's nice, easy, close to each other that you don't have to go all the way back, which like to 11 or that. That's why the keyboard of that, it's on my keyboard, nice and close to where I use my W, S, A, and D, so I don't have to go far away. It's things you have to use a bit in the arena. Now, when we go over this, is uh, my Arcane Torrent, it's my uh, Silence. Then we have uh, my Focus, Shift 6. Because you be you need that that kind of close as well because you be changing focuses a lot to repentance and so on. So I have that shift six, and then six for me silence because that's two two things I'll be using a lot. My trinket is a uh, shift mouse wheel down. Judgment is shift mouse wheel up. Um, repentance and non-focused target is shift or control four. So this is like as I'm saying, keep things together as as much as possible. So like I have me two CCs. That I have is me like my repentance is shift four and my blinding light is shift four or control five and control four. So as I say, keep close together. It's easy for the mind. If you learn how to use a razor dagger and you get so used to it, it's amazing. Um Shift F is for me guardian. Um control mouse wheel down is for Bop, control mouse wheel up is for bubble. So as I said before, keep them together so it's easy on the mind and you don't forget. Um Control one, which is I have a like hand of freedom in the office is doing a BG, but I normally have a, a freedom one for part for one of my members with their name in it, and freedom two for the other person. So it's like my two freedoms is control one and control two. So you don't have to go like shift one for one and then control one for the other. It's nice and easy. You know, control one and two is freedoms for your party members, so keeps it easy. Um, control middle mouse wheel down is my battle master trinket. Which I use is which I have a macro for now as holy is G. So when I pop that, like so, it pops my trinket as well with it. So when they swap on me, I can use that. Shift R is my divine favor, which gives me more haste. It's, it's nice, as I said, it's nice and easy. My sack is shift uh, middle mouse wheel down. So when I'm sacking targets, just shift mid, middle mouse wheel down. Now, very, very important ones here that I have is. <coughs> Excuse me, as you see here is ERQ. ERQ is my party members, which I have like target uh, 
one two three say I have a two three one so I have it in their name so I have like target target like uh, Ben and that's E then I have target Tom is R and target me is Q so instead of clicking all the way up here to get my character I don't need to I can just click Q to target myself to heal or anything like that it's, you don't have to go clicking putting your mouse wheel all over the place and clicking on everything you just you're concentrating on the game you're not looking at raid frames to click on them or anything like that so very very important to use these these macros here or these bindings just make the macros which i will be putting in a video as well with the glyphs so very important that you do this use these guys to get used to them because i used to click you can do it i got high rated with it by clicking and healing but this is more faster way faster so so yeah so that's some ways and lag is I have 8 as denounce which uses bit not a lot in the arena at the moment with damage but when you get a chance you do and I have 9 as my holy primes um, which is nice and, it's nice and close it's back there and why I have it back there I'll get into them in one second so as you see I don't have all my raise and lag bound to stuff because I don't need to have them all bounded I don't see why people you can bounce your, your mouse and mount up and all that but I, I don't bother how often do you need to mount up the arena you just click it so I have this one here it's number 10 on my on my uh, naga it's nice and easy it's down the very bottom it's not in the middle of me raising naga it's down the very very bottom so you won't miss click anything so that's my focus repentance which you use a lot in the arena so make sure that's away from every other button it's down the bottom it's nice and easy to get and the rest of them is 11 and 12 are my buffs to give because when they get the spell they just re buff it like this it's just so easy and then it's just the bottom that you won't be hitting any other keys is 11. now <clears throat> that's all i have bounded as a holy pallet i see people buying way way more stuff which if you have any good fucking bindings or macros send them on to me like but that's what i have i know people that buying these in that in that but i don't bother how often would you change it why never do you just pop that and start to read it and job done so yeah guys uh, that's just basically the key bindings that i have as me raising agate keep it nice and simple as i said keep it easy for the brain and that's all you need to do just don't be scattering all your stuff all over the place keep it together like your stuns as control or shift one two three and your cc's as control one two three keep it easy nice and simple guys so you don't fucking forget just the main thing is that you don't forget scatter them all over the place it's easy on the way to the arena okay i have to i have to cc someone it's control one control two control three which one you want to which one you want to use what cc you want to use and just learn from there guys if you're new with the raising nugget learn from there just it took me hours and hours and hours and hours of practice uh, to get used to a nugget from a two mouse a two button mouse so yeah uh, that's for this video guys um I'll be putting up my macro ones and my glyphs in the next one. So hit that subscribe button, like, let some comments down below what you think. And yeah guys, peace out.